Alrighty, let's play some Netrunner. On the left, there's me playing Wayland Consortium because we built it. On the right, we have the criminal Gabriel Santiago, consummate professional, with his cyborg arm. I make a pretty big mistake right here in the beginning. Is I had a Hadrian's Wall it was the only advanceable ice in my hand, and I wanted to install it and start advancing it to boost up commercialization from the get-go using the uh, because we built it recurring credit. And you see, I advanced the ice there. My mistake was I couldn't res the Hadrian's Wall, and I put it in front of HQ, forgetting I was playing against Gabe, who was going to run HQ constantly. So by not resing that, see, he gets my Ghost Branch right there, trashes it. Uh, gets his two credits for running HQ. By not resing that ice, he knows it's not a shadow or, you know, anything like that. So, uh, he's just going to run HQ like crazy now. If I would have put the Hadrian's Wall in front of R&D, I would have been much more successful. You know, it can't be a woodcutter, it can't be a tyrant, because I advanced it face down while it's derezzed. If it was shadow or Ice Wall, I definitely would have paid to res it. 100% can only be Hadrian's Wall. Install some more ice. And advance the wall a little bit more. Just hoping to use it for commercialization. You know, or maybe be able to res it at some point. He just keeps running HQ. See, now I'm in deep doo-doo. He knew it was Hadrian's Wall. He knew I didn't have 10 credits. He used forged activation orders. I can't res it. I trash it. So now I've lost my advancement token. So not only can't I commer not commercialize, I basically wasted two or three clicks there advancing that thing. Uh, he's running R&D. See, there's a Data Raven. I could have put that Data Raven in front of HQ, I would have been much better off. Much better off. See? He's Gabe. He's got a wide open HQ. It's a bad situation. Yeah, see, I'm explaining to him the, the stupid mistake I made, not noticing and remembering that he was, uh, he was Gabe at the start. The first time you sit down at the table to play Netrunner, Look at what the identity of the other guy is. <laughs> and think about it for more than one second. Right. Takes a look at my hedge fund. Gets his free credits because he's Gabe. Draws a card. Stalls a Crypsis. And unloads his armitage a little bit. Okay, I'll use that hedge fund. If only I could have gotten that before, when the Hadrian's Wall was still there. Alright, got some new ice. And even more new ice. I had to pay one to install that second ice. Maybe this will keep him out, but he's going to get a sneak door <laughs> eventually, right? Who runs Gabe without sneak door? Gets a virus counter on the Crypsis. So here you can see another big mistake I made, is he's just going to get all those credits from his bank job because I created a remote server with nothing in it. And when the other person is playing the criminal, bank job is out there. If you just make remote servers that aren't doing anything, that don't have anything in them, you know, worth resing ice for, 
you're giving away free credits to that bank job. So already I made two big mistakes here. Uh, let's try to fix my mistakes. So we ice up archives because we know that Sneak Door Beta is coming eventually. And we start advancing the new HQ ice. Okay, he loads up another virus counter on Crypsis and runs HQ. We have a matrix analyzer, which I use to advance the ice behind it. Here we go. This is really fun. Um, you know, it's not that uh, exciting, because, you know, but the... Um, it's really fun just every time he runs HQ, that ice is only going to get stronger and stronger. And he sees my Scorched Earth. So see, right now, that's only a strength 3 ice wall, which he can afford to get through. Right, but every turn, I'll use my recurring credit to advance it. And if he runs it, I'll use the Matrix Analyzer to advance it. So that's basically plus two strength per turn. And it's a bank for commercialization. Uh, he's going to have a rough time getting in there. He can't even use Inside Job because that'll just go around the Matrix Analyzer. It won't go around the Ice Wall. He got some credits with an easy mark. I advanced the Ice Wall some more. He loads up his Crypsis with another virus counter. And he goes to the account siphon. I do have eight credits. That's a good number for account siphoning. I advance the ice wall even more with the matrix analyzer. But he can still afford to break it mostly because of the bank job I let him have. And uh, so I lose five credits, and he gets ten. Oof. Yeah, because he broke the matrix analyzer. I uh, I wasn't able to use all the credits on uh, its trace. Usually, when somebody's coming in to. Uh, account siphon you, you want to have a trace on HQ so that you can blow away all your credits, they have nothing to take. Just wasting the account siphon action. And he sure gambled, so he is loaded with monies now. Even my 7th strength ice wall is, uh, is breakable. And he gets the doppelganger, getting his free runs. So I reload my money after getting siphoned, and I advance my wall, make it even harder for him to get in, force him to get the sneak door if he wants to run HQ. Also, maybe I'll get commercialization, get some huge bank. Crescentus Allows him to derez some ice He's got a Crypsis Play a hedge fund Now we're getting the money back I only get four instead of five though Because I'm have the uh, Because we built it Instead of the default Original Wayland identity If you got an ability, recurring credit, might as well use it. And now I commercialize for seven credits. Now we got money. See, you count siphoned, I recovered almost immediately. A 
second Armitage. He hasn't finished using his first one. He's going to need those credits if he wants to be able to get through the ice wall. Even more advancement. And then I even use a credit to advance it, to get it even stronger. And then I commercialize. See, effectively, you know, I spent a credit to advance it, but, you know, that whole turn was free advancement, paid advancement, commercialize. I got the money back that I used, and when I play another commercialization later, um, if I get another one later, I'll get that credit back again. Okay, so he drops a Parasite in the Data Raven, effectively giving me just uh, four turns to uh, block up R&D with something else, and otherwise he'll start walking in. I mean, he could break that Data Raven with his Crypsis, but then he has to remove the tag, uh, which is annoying. He knows my deck has got to be loaded with Scorched Earth. He also has, you know, some valuable resources. He doesn't want me to trash his Armitages. Uh, while they're still full of money. So taking tags is not on his to-do list. He'll wait the four turns and then start running R&D like crazy. He'll also get free runs with the doppelganger. So if he runs R&D and scores, he'll get a free run at R&D again if there's no ice. Uh, or if there's weak ice, you know, that he can break easily with Crypsis. He can also use the Crescentus to run R&D, derez, run R&D again, I don't know why he didn't, for example, you know, make a run in R&D, take the tag, use the Crescentus to de-res, get another run. You know, I mean, I could I could re-res the Data Raven, but it still costs four credits. So he basically make me spend money and see cards from R&D, even right now. You just have to use a click and two credits to remove the tag before my turn. Okay. So here we go, I use an Oversight AI. I think that's an Archer. I haven't scored anything, so that's the only way I can really res that. Parasite starts eating up the Data Raven. Compromised employee. That'll help him with traces, of which there are probably a few. See, I left the Data Raven there and spent the credit to install an ice in front of it, right? Even though the Data Raven will disappear eventually. This still forces him to wait all the four turns before getting in, and then the ice will just fall into place. If I would have gotten rid of the data even now, he probably would have run immediately. So it looks like another bank job. He runs that server with the archer. He spends a ton of credits to run, break it with Crypsis, even though it's expensive because that destroys the archer. Right? And he scores his bank job money. Then he has Doppelganger, so he gets a free run on that server, steals my posted bounty. So yeah, this, this game made me not a fan of Oversight AI. <laughs> oh, see, I almost advanced the Parasite on my turn. It's only supposed to happen on his turn. 
And now I'm asking him to count credits. Uh, he did just make a successful run, actually two successful runs on his last turn. Uh, so sea source is a possibility. He did get a lot of credits from the bank job, and he has a credit on the compromised employee that can be used for tracing. But the commercialization just gave me so much money. Double scorch. All right. I didn't deserve to win that game uh, with the big mistakes I made early on. But there you have it.